Okay, let's talk about the threat analysis group from Google, uh, because that's where this story starts. So basically, this article was written in December 2021, when Google basically made a huge hit on uh, disabling, at least, uh, the majority of Gluptiba. And I've highlighted the area here. It says, Google has taken action to disrupt the ar ar operations of Gluptiba, a multi-component multi botnet targeting Windows computers. We believe this action will have a significant in impact on Gluptiba's operations. However, the operators of Gluptiba are likely to attempt to regain control of the botnet using a backup command and control mechanism that uses data encoded on the Bitcoin blockchain. Gluptiba is known to steal user credentials and cookies, mine cryptocurrencies on infected hosts, deploy and operate proxy components targeting Windows systems and IoT devices. TAG, or the Threat Analysis Group, has observed the botnet targeting victims worldwide, including the US, India, Brazil, and Southeast Asia. So basically what it what it what it identified is you know a, a typical bot that would go in and try to grab credentials. This one specifically though targeted blockchain. Attacking Bitcoin in particular, it actually embedded itself enough so that once they got their C2 servers their command and control servers uh, back up and operational, they could retrieve data from the Bitcoin blockchain and retrieve the addresses to go back after again to try to drain accounts of account holders and such that they'd acquired through infecting Windows computer systems. So it was uh, quite significant. It says, this past year, TAG has been collecting has been collaborating with Google's cybercrime investigation group to disrupt Gleptiba activity involving Google services. We've terminated around 63 million Google Docs observed to have distributed Gleptiba, 1,183 Google accounts, 908 cloud projects, and 870 Google ads account, ad accounts associated with distribution. Furthermore, 3.5 million users were warned before downloading a malicious file through Google safe browsing warnings. Wow, that was pretty significant. Um, finding 6.3 million Google Docs that, that when people would open them had the code in embedded in them so that when the people opened it, it would infect their ho the host and their system. That's, that's pretty, uh, pretty big. So Google is alleging violations under the Racketeer, Influence, Racketeer Influenced and Corrupt Organizations Act, or we usually know that as RICO, the Corrupt, the Computer Fraud and Abuse Act, the Electronic Communications Privacy Act, the Lanham Act, and tortuous inference of business relationships and unjust enrichment. While these actions may not completely stop Gleptiba, TAG estimates that combined efforts will materially affect the, materially affect the actor's ability to conduct future operations. So here is the situation now. They, they, they basically they're paying, playing whack-a-mole, it looks like. Um, they whacked the mole back in 2021, and but they also said in this 2021 article that they had a, you know, C2 backup mechanism. That C2 backup mechanism, of course, was embedding the code in the Bitcoin blockchain so that they could retrieve it later when they got their command and control um, systems back up and running. So let's take a look at the next article. And the next article, this is the one that was actually submitted to the class, okay? And basically, it tells today's episode of what's happening with this particular uh, uh, piece of malware. Um, I like the graphic. Um, 
it kind of gives an idea. So basically, um, has sprung back into action, infecting devices worldwide after its operation was disrupt disrupted by Google almost a year ago. And so this is where I went and tracked down the article by Google back in 2021. This article was written by Nozomi. Um, the blockchain transactions are being linked and reverse engineered back to Glyptiba samples again. And so the data basically is hiding in the blockchain and you've got these addresses. And if any transactions happen on these addresses, uh, the Glyptiba blockchain just takes the coins. Uh, so even though you send to a particular uh, a, a particular wallet, if your wallet is tied to one of the addresses that this malware has within its uh, command and control structure, it would be able to intercept those transactions and divert them to a different account. So it, it continues to thrive, unfortunately. Um, it'll continue to thrive until it finally is able to be uh, permanently destroyed. And, you know, it's probably going to be difficult to permanently destroy it. I know your antivirus on your on your desktop is going to be looking for it, but if you open up a document that directly installs it on your computer, that could be a, a really, really big challenge. I hate to say that it's just going to be a whack-a-mole exercise, but boy, um, they have, uh, you know, knocked it down pretty well, hardy in uh, 2001, and here it is, you know, back in 2023. So here we here we go again. Uh, this article was actually written in December 2022, so they were about a year apart. Okay, so be careful. You know, open documents from trusted sources. Make sure that you're not, you know, going and downloading from sources that you're that you don't really, really trust and make sure your software, uh, especially your operating system is well up to date so that those that have been trying to get rid of this, you can avail yourself of the, of the work that they've done as best as possible.